Well, it just smelled terrible. I don't know if I ever smelled anything that smelled like it before, so I wouldn't know exactly what it smelled like. It smelled like maybe a cow that's been dead and moldy for a couple of months. That's about what it smelled like. Terrible. The group of boys concluded that since there were numerous caves in the hilly area above the road, maybe the creature or creatures slept in one during the day and, like a nocturnal animal that feeds and drinks mainly at night, headed at night time for the river, through the cut in which they now had thrice spotted it. So that night, Doug, Bruce, and eleven other boys embarked on a full-fledged Bigfoot hunt. No pocket knives or stones this time. Everybody brought what guns they could get hold of. A few 22s and also 270s and 30.6s and a 7mm and a 6.5mm and one kid named Davy Kramer brought a 12 guard shotgun with Double O Buckshot. They were all scared to death, but they weren't about to let that stop them. They were even disappointed when the first night of their forebone hunt, they only saw a creature at too great a distance to shoot at. The second night, the boys were there again. They were luckier, or depending on how you look at it, unluckier, because this time they saw two creatures go straight through the cut, then turn right. It was dark, it was late at night, it took nerve, but Doug Seeley and Davy Kramer decided to take Davy's trail of gorge and go down to see if they could spot where the creatures had gone. Not unexpectedly, it was too dark to do any tracking, and they were walking back up to join the other boys when they walked by a big shadowy fir tree growing on the slope. Listen, Davy said, we'd better check that tree. What if they're hiding in the branches? <laughs> 